Hello everyone, and welcome to the final episode of the Scavenger Run. For, you know, about six, seven weeks until Wastelanders comes out, and then we pick it up again. But yes, this episode, we're going to launch a nuke at the Queen and kill the Queen. That is the plan. It could go horribly wrong, but I'm I'm actually somewhat confident, because I've got... I'll show you my perks. Haven't taken a look at them myself, but look at that perk loadout. It is all over the place. Wow, what am I doing with my... Character. No, to be fair, some of it makes sense. Some of it makes sense. I've got rifles, shotguns, I've got a bit of bloody mess. I've got, like, luck of a draw and lucky break. It's reasonable for a scavenger. I've got Lone Wanderer maxed out, obviously. It works well enough. We can get by on this. This is an alright perk. So it's up for the stupid rules I went for. What we have, more importantly, though, are four different weapons to focus on. We've got the short double barrel shotgun, which is our number one weapon. We've got the Perfect Storm, which we picked up last time, which is kind of our shredding weapon, because it does, like, yeah, 50 damage per shot, plus the 24 burn damage, which is pretty crazy. The Furious Handmade, which is a bit longer range. It's not too amazing, but Furious is pretty nice. And finally, we've got the Black Powder Rifle for the single shot, high damage, piawy power we might need. And, yeah, that's what we're working with. And with all of that, we're going to hopefully kill the Queen. So, first things first, let's... Oh, we got... Okay, we've already got people showing up. I did say on my Discord server that I'll be launching a nuke at some point, and I have a feeling I'm now being stalked. So, I'm just going to go to Site Bravo, and hopefully everything goes well. And Site Bravo simply because it's the closest one. Site Bravo also happens to be incredibly quiet, so you can come here and not get attacked right at the start, which is kind of nice. Now, I don't know why I'm even bothering to... Ah, oh, free crossbow bolts. Why not? Why not? Yeah, there's nothing I don't think I need here. No surprise freestyle legendaries laying on the ground. So all we gotta do is scan in and go down. Here we are. Mission Countdown Bravo. So, yep. Inside the little thingy, we need to find a way past the laser grids. And, oh, man, military grade duct tape. I'm just leaving behind. That is somewhat painful, because, yeah... These laser grids, I cannot get through. Ah! Very first time I saw them, I thought they might actually kill you, but no. You just can't walk through them. So we need to get ourselves registered to be able to get through these things. And to do that, we're going to need a few different items. First... Oh! Oh, yeah. Okay, a few different things, such as a little ID card... And we'll need to register ourselves. Okay, there's the Colonel Gutsy. But there are going to be, yeah, a few fancy enemies we need to deal with. Also, there's a ton of lead in this place. Like, the silos. Even if you don't want to actually, um... Ow, 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 ow. Now, Gutsies are a pain, so we've got to be careful of them. Yeah, even if you don't want to, um, launch a new... Going to the silos can... Oh, it... really? Okay, that is not what we needed right there. Getting staggered as I needed to shoot. That was not helpful. On the bright side, though, I have a whole bunch of hotkeys, like Nuka Cherry, which will fully heal me. And yeah, we've got to worry about the robots, because we are weak and puny. So this is likely going to be a bit slower than normal, but due to the amazing powers of editing, hopefully it won't be too tiresome. Aha, here is the first part, an old biometric ID card. So I'm going to pick that up. And I actually want to make it all into a nice, fancy, blank biometric ID card, which I should be able to do in this room over here. Oh, and yep, this security instant. Wait. Oh, I'm in the wrong room. Oh, and here's another one. Okay, once I find the right room, I'll scan it through. Well, this isn't the room I was looking for, but it is one we need, because we need to go inside of the big old biometric scanner, not one of those tiny junk ones you pick up. Big one of these, and scan ourselves into the system. Which takes, like, a slightly variable amount of time. There we go. Okay, that was one of the faster ones. I've seen it be really slow on that before. And, oh, don't make extra security personnel. I don't want to fight them. I don't want to. I just want to get through it nice and quickly. Now, we just need... Oh, basic Mr. Handy. Well, that's not so bad. Okay, we just need to find the final room which I was in, like, just a minute ago, and now cannot find for the life of me. Like, I've been searching for this room for about five minutes now. There it is! 
Okay, so erase the ID card. Bosh, reload the gun whilst we do that. There we go, blank biometric ID card added. Then we should just be able to fabricate a new one. Yep, fabricate biometric ID. Boom, that is all done perfectly. Then we scan it through on the little laser grid system, and then we should be able to get through the lasers. Just scan it through on here. Do not actually go on the terminals. But boom, that should be it done. And yeah, they're blue. Look at that. We are through. Now, unfortunately, there's going to be lots and lots of robots trying to get me along the way. Really? That iBot decided to back away from me, which I was not a fan of. I'm trying to hide away from... There was a gutsy I just managed to sneak past over that way. And I'm figuring, if I can, sneaking past the enemies is not the worst move in the world. But at the same time... Oh, oh no! At the same time, I suck! So, we're just going to have to do this whatever way we can. Apparently that way is going to involve a lot of me just messing up and... how the fact it still hit me there is very irritating. I can't quite be in cover. Stop glancing me with odd attacks. This is wasting a lot of my good ammo too. Okay, we got a crit saved up at least. That's... that's something. Man, this is why I brought along the Black Powder Rifle, though. I can just duck in and out of cover and... Really? Okay, Mysterious Stranger, please finish that turret off. And... The Mysterious Stranger's so t stupidly bad. Shotgun does it, though. Okay, shotgun does it. No robot, no robot. There's a whole bunch of Colonel Gutsies I was worried about. Oh, and some rats. Okay, we keep moving through, though. We just have to not die. That's the key we're looking for here, is not dying. And oh, that one was just a basic level 22 gutsy. These are not as bad. I don't want to waste my crit on that. I want to save my crit for one of the bigger guys. Because, yeah, you just pop your way through. Oh, screw you. You know what? Have a grenade. You're going to be irritating. I brought along. Oh, 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 oh. There's an assault run somewhere. There's some... over there. Over there is the Assaultron. That we need to worry about. Oh, looks like there was another robot though. Okay, the Reds are actually coming in heavily now. So what I'm going to do is jump into my power armor. Which should already have a fusion core in it. Okay, we're going to jump into the power armor now. This will protect me from the Reds. And <laughs> this is my slightly mismatched suit. Or I've got, yeah, the Raider head on everything else. But let's also use a Radaway. Because we do not want to be dealing with a lack of ammo at any point right now. That would be bad. Hey, and there's a damaged hazmat suit. Aren't they slightly broken? Alright, now what I want to do is I want to find that dang... Nope. I want the Assault Tron. That's what I want. I wonder if I can... <laughs> Get the turrets with the grenades. That did something. Something died from that. But it doesn't appear to be the turret. Okay, now... You can get shot just normally. Because, yeah, I can deal with it being a few rads. Because I'm in the power armor. But an assault drone could wipe me out. So I'm just going to stay back. And pick off a few things I can get while safe. Oh dear! There's the assault drone! There's... Oh! Oh my god. I tried to throw a grenade and it did the damn gun bash. On my bright side, that assault drone did almost nothing with its laser to me, which is lovely. So, yeah, that was not half as bad as it could have been. Even with it messing up a little bit there. Cool. We are good. The assault drone was the thing I was most worried about in this room. Power armor is actually half decent. And I forget that on a character that doesn't have many legendaries to work with, Power armor is probably the best thing for me to be using. Now, I don't want to waste this gun too much, so let's, where we can, use stuff like the shotgun. And just hope for the best with it. You know what? Also got this thing, the Furious Handmade, for mid-range specifically, which, yeah, just tap with it. I was having someone talking about, like, 
furious. Ah, oh, you should use it on automatics and stuff. And yes, it is very good on automatics. But I've got a nice steady rate of fire with semi-autos. And the accuracy is pretty great. So I just like doing that. Because it conserves my ammo and still, a furious is a really nice legendary effect. Like, it's not one of these ones you have to build an entire character around and put yourself at tons of disadvantages, but the benefit isn't so crazy that it feels like it's overpowered or anything. I, I just like it. You know, I like it. I like my sensible legendary effects. I I'm a fan of them. I hear another assault drum, though. Where's. Ooh, flame effect. Where's that other... Okay, that's not another Assault Trump. That is a Gutsy. But I swear I hear another one. Oh well, I guess I'll just kill Gutsies until I find it. Been taking my time just killing all the robots. Oh, I forgot, I'm supposed to have this small guns bobblehead active. So let's pop that on, and then... Oh, there we go. For the next hour, extra 20% damage with ballistic guns. Which is all of them, I believe. So, yeah, that's going to make quite the difference, I feel. Yep, that should help out quite a bit. Oh, there's the Assaultron. I found the Assaultron at long last. It's... Hey, and it's getting distracted by... That's the good thing about, um, the Mysterious Stranger. It just distracts the enemies. Everything else about it, not worthwhile. The distraction, actually kind of handy. Now that everything appears to be dead... I think we're gonna actually turn off this whole lockdown thing. So, reactor control. Take a look at that. And power system overview. Blah, blah, blah. blah. It's not that one. It's repair instructions. And then, perfect. Now we just have to repair everything. So, oh, wait. We need to shut it down, then repair stuff. That's how you do it properly. And shut down more reactors. Perfect. Cool. So, now we have three minutes to repair the pipes, and do I actually try and need to be quick on this? Because I have definitely messed it up before where I've been a bit slow. Or you can even be too fast and the game kind of hates that too. You have to do it in the perfect amount of time. Alright, looks like we're on the last pipe. Only took like a minute, that's not too bad. Shut that down, and also pick up a free stim pack, because why not? And, yep, yeah, oh. Yeah, we will also have to restart the reactor. Or else it just keeps going beep at us the entire time. Isn't that fun? So, yep, yeah, let's restart the reactor. And... Oop! Perfect! System restart done. There we go. Now we can just go through to the next bit. And do another one of these little segments. And now we have all of the fun panels to deal with. Look at these lovely... Yeah, we need to destroy this. Which, I've seen people who do it like super fast with explosive weapons and stuff. Do they work with the regular ones? Not with a basic shotgun, it doesn't. Not with a basic shotgun at all. But yeah, I've seen people use explosives on this. No idea if that still works or not, but for me, I will just manually do it. Because I want to play it safe. Oh dear, we got more assault run showing up. Fortunately, this. Power Armor is doing a great job of keeping me alive. So I've been sticking with it. Although I think, to deal with this guy, let's... Oh, I hit some of those. Yeah, I want to kind of show off how good this gun is. The uh, Perfect Storm. That's difficult to do with an Assaultron who just blurs the entire screen with that light. Oh, and then... Oh, an Assaultron blade. What's that like? 68 damage armor's not particularly good. Ne neither of those weapons are particularly good. And yeah, let's... Where are you at? Yep. Okay, just... You know what? Have some grenades. If you're gonna smoke at me, just have some freaking plasma grenades. Well, that clear things up. Oh, here's the Dominator. Okay, that's the one to be really worried about. Because, yeah, all the rest, not so bad. The Dominator, actually quite nasty. This is what I brought all of those things for. Oh, there's another Assault Run hiding around the corner. Okay, we're getting all of the assault drones at once here. This is not ideal. So let's um yeah, try and Okay, that's the dominator dominator taken out. And the other one. That's why I brought along so many plasma grenades as well. Okay, that's fine though. And now I think we're just down to destroying the final of these. 
And then we'll have all the fun of repairing them. Oh, and some more gutsy showing up. Well, that is not a problem. You know what? The non-perfect storm weapons are doing very well in this little bunker, uh, silo run. Oh, boom, the integrity is compromised, which means we can now get through to the next part. And boy, oh boy, is it going to be a pain, just like this one was. Ah, more enemies! <laughs> I did not realise there were more enemies over here. Okay. Oh, really? Uh, oh, man. Why did this guy have to be just a tiny bit tough? It's not what I wanted at all. Oh, and re reload. One second. One second! Thank you. Okay. Let's just go through to the next bit. And... Repair some stuff. And here's a big boy. Big nasty sentry bot. Who is... Oh, not quite. There we go. Now we're dead. Okay, the sentry bot is not normally waiting right at the door. So I think that was a bit cruel. But on the bright side, now we just deal with the enemies as they come through. And it's not so big a deal. Like, this is... this is fine. This is all perfectly fine. 100%. Uh, you know what, I'll actually take a partially charged fusion core. Just because... I'm slightly worried. Okay, apparently there's enemies above me. I don't know quite why that is. But I suppose it's better than them attacking me. Ooh! There's... Oh, T-51B left leg. And torso are apparently better than my T-60. Left leg and... Oh, it's because it's 114, 114, 65 versus 195, 115. You know what? That is actually a bit better. Um, I... Do I have the space for my... Actually... Wow, I... Okay, and the helmet's a lot better. Yeah, let's just take all of this for now. Well, um... I suppose I'll switch out my power armor slightly after this. But this stuff's holding up fine for now. So I'm going to stick with it for the time being. And yeah, we need to head through here. But first off, we won't need to repair... Yeah, because we can't open this door yet. We need to repair this thing. I hope all the enemies are dead. I'm, I'm pretty sure the enemies above me aren't supposed to have detected I'm here yet. But apparently they just have done. So let's... Yep, yeah, boom, boom, boom. Find the mainframe cores. We just need to replace this stuff. We remove the damaged ones. The damaged ones are actually going to weigh me down, and normally you can repair these things at a Tinkerer's workbench, but obviously that would break the challenge rules, and yes, these are over-encumbering me, so I am just going to drop them all. Oh, there's another fixed one after I plugged in a couple of the uh, working ones I picked up. Picked up two of them? Yeah, three of them by the sounds of it. And then mainframe cores, yep, damaged ones, 1.5 weight each. each. Yeah, that was too much weight. Now all we do is wander around looking for more of these lovely mainframe calls. So, I'm just going to do that for a while. Oh dear, it's decided it's going to bring in Assaultrons. Okay, well, you know what? These things haven't actually been all that bad when I've been fighting them. So I think we'll get by just fine with a few of them kicking about. This shouldn't be a big deal, I hope. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to have to fight a few things as I deal with them. Oh, plan for an Assault Trump Blade. That's nice to have. But other than the fighting, it's still just me scavenging around looking for more of these mainframe cores. I think I'm up to like 8 or 9 right now. There's there's quite a lot need to be found. So I think, if you've got 4 people, this is and you can repair them, this is like a minute's worth of work. One person on your own not being able to repair any of the broken ones is like, you're going to be here for, for about 5-10 minutes just picking up mainframe cores and occasionally having stupid robots trying to shoot you. That, why'd I pick up a lead crap, crap, crap? Bad robots. I'm pretty sure I have all 15. Yep, all 15 have been placed. And now just open up the door and then we should be through to the final section before I can finally launch the actual nuke itself. Now, as is tradition, we have Commander Snuggles, or whatever I happen to name him every time I come in here. I'm pretty sure it's always something different. We have to salute him. Oh, and the power armor as well, because you do, like, the hand fist thing. Yeah, I like that salute. That's a cool salute. 
But yeah, you have to salute the bear before you go in. You also have to go out of stealth, because who would want to be stealthed against all the Assaultron faces that are glowing around there? But yeah, here's the launch commander, who we can just snipe with a black powder rifle. Yeah, we just need to murder a few of these, then initiate, initiate the launch prep. It shouldn't be too bad. Oh no! No, it's broken! Why did it have to break? I was relying on that. Oh, that was going to make this room so easy. There's now like a couple of Assaultrons who are going to come for me. Oh, you terrible, horrible Assaultrons. How dare you? Oh, wait, you're actually quite badly hurt. No. Let's perfect storm you. That... Oh, it's a mysterious stranger. You're just going to chill there, dude. Yeah, don't worry about the other one. Don't worry about him. No, that's it. Just fade out of existence before you're needed. Mysterious stranger, I hate you so much. Okay, there's the other one. But you see there, perfect storm. Pretty decent DPS. You know, it it, it works out all right. So, it's going to really come in handy against the queen, though. So, for this part, we now just need to initiate it. Before we do that, I'm pretty sure... Well, first off, I can actually ditch my black powder rifle, because we can't... Well, we would be able to repair stuff once we kill queens, but I'm not going to... Do I want to worry about it? Mm, I'm going to drop it. It weighs six. I can get other ones. It's not that big a deal. Yeah, a pulse mine. I picked up a pulse mine, so... Do, 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 do. I'm trying to work out where's a safe place to put this. You know what? Let's just, like, throw it down over here. And then go back to my plasma grenades, which we've already used about 20, more than 20 of. We've used more than 20 plasma grenades so far. I am glad, I would stocked up on them like throughout the entire series. I've just been putting them in my stash, like grenades were eating up majority of my stash space. I'm so glad of it now, because these have been, they've just made going through this 10 times easier than it would have been. Plus the power armor, the power armor's been good. And oh, oh the process, initiate launch prep. That's all we need to do. And now, we have the most exciting part of launching a new. Kato's occasionally been like, when he's been playing the old time with me, he's been like, hey, we can launch a new kill, be nice and quick and easy. Like, no matter how good you are at getting through the silo, this part here is first up, very noisy missile silo mainframe. You're being very loud. But, um, yeah, it's basically, you just wait for five of these, I think it is, to walk up to their little chosen pods. Most of them have a further walk than this guy as well. They just walk up here, then you have to just defend them whilst we're on here, and that is the entirety of it, because, yeah, you'll get, well, worse stuff than iBots showing up. If it was just iBots, it'd be easy. But yeah, now I just have to defend these. And you'll see there's a progress bar in there showing you just how long this is going to take. God, this is the most annoying part of the whole launch sequence. It's been about five minutes, or some. It feels like five minutes at least. It's been two. No, it has been close to five minutes. To be fair, probably like four minutes at this point. <laughs> it just takes so long. And on my, I've almost run out of five point five six. I'm real low on it. It's very irritating. And now I'm having to defend these things. And I'm also letting my Discord server link in the description below. I'm letting them all know that I'm on the launch prep thingy, so they can come along and be in the queen fight. So there'll be a few cameos of them, and if you're watching, you can look out for your name. Your name might be on there. But for now, I'm just sat here trying to defend half a dozen stupidly slow and inefficient robots. Hurry up and get to your stations already. We'd already have been nuked by now. This shouldn't be how long it takes to launch a nuke. This is like life or death situations right here, and you're walking into goddamn scenery. Oh no, they're, they're killing the chief! Stop killing the chief! Stop killing the chief, you stupid robots! No, stop it! Stop it! What are you doing? Stupid, horrible robots. I can't stand these things. They're just constantly shooting up the things I need to defend. And I am really not that strong. And it's actually throwing some reasonably tough robots in here. Like, they're not dealing enough damage to be a problem, but they are- oh, that's a nice surprise in iBot. They are just taking too many bullets to kill. Like, I've got all of my ammo for these weapons with me, and I'm running low on it. This isn't good. Okay, it looks like it's- oh! Um, 
I heard what sounded like someone dying at the same time this went off. But boom, there we go. Lights have gone out. Hey, we get a legendary as well. Isn't that nice? It also gives you missiles, which are utterly worthless because nobody uses a missile launcher. Okay, but there we go. Countdown Bravo is completed. Look at that. And that means I get an input the launch code right after I ditch these stupid missiles it gave me, which... Wait, what was that? And a burnt textbook. Don't need that. Don't need the lead scrap either, to be honest. But yeah, let's now ditch those missiles, which, boom, take up eight weight, and launch a nuke. So I've double-checked I'm in Site Bravo. Now I insert one of my nuclear keycards. Perfect. Now we type in the code on the keypad. Oh, with a giant power armor. Now, Bravo for today should be 7, 9, 4, 2, 4, 9, 6, 1. Yes! I'm always so scared when I'm doing that, because if you type it in wrong, you lose your keycard. I do have a second one, but that's... That's not an ideal situation to be in. Now, what we have here is the entire map, and I want to launch over Fisher Sight Prime. Where okay, Hunter's already shown up. But I don't know where Fisher Sight Prime is on this map. Oh, that is bad. Um, oh, I don't have Fisher Sight Prime on the map. This isn't too good. Okay. Oh, okay. I have a feeling I'm gonna hit the drop site. I'm sorry, Hunter. Please. Can I... Oh, no, 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 not quite there. Just about... There, no, wait. Hold up, why is it not? Okay, that should do it just fine. That, that should be fine. Yeah, and that should cause the... Uh, I, don't, I feel like that's going to be slightly off. I'm going to go for it. I have a feeling it, the Queen's going to be in the blast zone, but because I don't have a thing there, I just don't want to miss the Fisher site. I'm like, I'll nuke the Fisher site, I just want it to work. Man, I'm really paranoid about where the Fisher site prime is. This better work! I am not launching another nuke. Okay, death from above. Ah, oh, it's just over encumbered me as well because I've completed that thingy. What's it given me? Because I need to fast travel. Yep, warning, bad company soldiers launched a nuke. I've done it like five times or something stupid. Okay, it's giving me a combat armor leg. Is there any stupidly heavy ammo I can get rid of? There's eight plasma cores. And oh, a bunch of fusion... What did it give me? What did it give me that's so damn heavy? Okay, I've got... Heavy leather I don't need. I'm just going to ditch some stuff that I don't need. Oh god, I've got way too much stuff all of a sudden. Way too much stuff. This is... Bad. I need to ditch stuff so I can have some- It gave me a Gatling Plasma! Oh my god, I- Matt, I'm just gonna ditch it. I'm sorry, Gatling Plasma. You would've been nice, but I can't deal with you. And the Urban Scout Armor Arm. We'll get rid of that too. Man, I really hope I hit the Queen. If I miss the Queen, I'm gonna be so annoyed. But there we go, we get a level up. The Nuke's gonna touch down. Please! Oh, that looks like it's fine. Okay, I'm going to fast travel over to Hunter, because having people on your friends list is very handy. So I'll fast travel over to him, and then we'll check it all out. Alright, here we are. We've got a minute left before it launches. Let's see who's shown up here. There should be quite a few people, because they're already pre-prepared. We've got... Oh, we've got invisible people. The pe Is there a person there? I don't... Yep. Oh, there's Clandox. I was walking into Clandox. So Clandox is here. There's... Is that Kyle? Kyle? From other server, Carl. I'm trying to look at his face. If he's got their pretty face, then it's Carl. Carl from another server. There's Jade no more. Yep, I think that might be Carl. Carl, because he's got a very fancy face. Look at this. There's multiple people I recognise here. I, I I also don't recognise half the people. Yeah, we got Hunter, Jade, Kyle, Clandox. Look at that. We got we've got we've got a lot of people here. We've got a lot of people, and I don't know if this person knows me, but they just ran ran over to me. Okay, um. I'm going to go for Perfect Storm on this, and hope for the best, but yeah, Nuke is dropping right now. Oh, that's Hunter over there, who is a very high level and has a Gatling Plasma. He's going to be able to deal a ton of damage, and boom! It's better cause! There we go, Scorch Dove! I was so scared I wasn't going to get that, but yep, there it is. Let's try and hit the Scorch Beast Queen. I'm slightly scared that people will, like, one-shot it, but 
That doesn't seem to be the case. And here we are just going to set the queen on fire. Oh, and it's a diseased Scorch Beast Queen. That I am not a huge fan of. But we'll shoot it a bunch. Oh, I got the new placement right. That is good. Let's also take some Psycho Tats to drug up to just be a tiny bit stronger. Oh, it's going to land as well. This is going to be such an easy queen. And it's not started lagging yet. That's good. Oh, and there's Wolf. That is Wolf Taco, who is often in the comments. And it's likely in the comments right now, commenting. There we go. Look at this. We got a queen who we should be able to take out relatively easily. Yeah, look at this. This is going to be a solid queen fight. Oh, there's the Blight. Of course, there's the Blight. <laughs> the annoying thing about to see Scorch Beast is they do give you the Blight, which is horrible. Oh. But I think we can handle it. Oh, no, don't throw a grenade, Sarge. We don't want this to lag out. I think someone's slow... Yes, someone's got a cryolator on the queen. That is so good. Okay, yeah, when the queen's cryoed, she moves slower, which means a cryolator is, like, probably the best weapon you can use against her if you want to, like, help everyone out. So, good on whoever's using the cryolator. Oh, I think it might even be Hunter. That looks like icy stuff he's spraying out on everything. All right. Come on, Queen. Get to the halfway point. Oh, we got... This feels like a proper Queen fight here. Like, I'm so used to it either just being over in 0 0.2 seconds because someone's got, like, a hacked god gun or something stupid. Or they're, like, not being anyone around. So there's just a few of you wailing on it non-stop as she flies nowhere near where you can get. This actually feels kind of like a raid boss. It is being slowed down, which is hilarious for the animations. But look at this. Queen is taking proper damage just the way she should do. And, oh, those headshots as well. Doing a nice little bonus damage. Oh, Honey Beast. We can help out with that a bit. Look at that. Get 100 XP. Oh, that actually reminds me. I should take some very Mentats. Because that would give bonus XP. And put a little glow on everything. Oh yeah, Queen's proper frozen now. Look at that. Let's just try and get her in the head. And properly sort her out. Man, this is... This is... This feels like how a fast Queen fight should go. This isn't like ridiculous, oh, someone's obviously just using a broken weapon. But it is like a concentrated team effort. Of just a whole bunch of people deciding, yeah, let's kill the Queen. And oh, no! No! Okay, okay. We lost the final seconds of the Queen dying due to a lag. But we didn't we didn't die. Oh, Vanity's Fiend has shown up as well. Look at this. Like the majority of the people here I recognise. That's cool. That's cool. We did it, people. There we go. We got the Scorched Earth done and out of the way. Perfect. Excellent. And there we go. We get some... Ultrasite scrap and some stable flux, a whole bunch of stuff we can't actually use in this character. And a two-star chameleon combat armor right arm. Which, you know what, isn't that terrible. There's plenty of worse things. What do we get from the queen? Uh, oh, there's some dog food! And, oh, two-shot ultrasite laser pistol! That is pretty good. And prime double barrel, ultrasite torsos, look at all of this stuff. And a gorse rifle and a light machine gun. You know, that is all real good stuff. So there we have it. I'm I'm going to wander over here. <laughs> I'm going to let everyone else do the crazy fighting for a minute. I'm going to... Jeez. <laughs> Everyone's just shredding. Give everyone a thumbs up quickly. As the Scorch Beast comes in as well. Let's... Oh, Scorch Beast down. Scorch Beast. Wow. People are proper shredding right now. Let's just move slightly out of the way. Ah, there we have it, people. Final episode of the scavenger run. I, I like, I really like the Raider helmet on the T60 stuff. Because it just, it fits the scavenger. I'm like, I've almost got the T60, but not properly. I've got like T60 and like the lowest tier power armor as well. Because why not? Oh, but thank you all who have tuned in and have watched every single episode of the scavenger run. Obviously the scavenger will return after Wastelanders is out. I'm thinking... Probably the week after Wastelanders drops, I'll start up both Melee Madness and the Scavenger Run for Settlers and Raiders. So one of them will be doing one, one of them will be doing the other. Most likely it's going to be Melee Mike doing the Settlers and the Scavenger going the Raiders. So that will be something to look forward to after Wastelanders is out. 
along with tons of other Wastelanders content. So if you aren't already for any reason, do make sure you're subscribed and, and have clicked the notification bell. Feel free to give the video a like and let me know if you were in this video. Kyle is literally, okay, I, th I think a group photo is going on. They're, to they're totally posing for a group photo. Everyone's posing for a group photo. Look at this. Look at this. This is not me trying to do anything. Let's, there we go. Look, look at that. Oh man, I'm kind of annoyed I've got very mentors now. But here we go. We'll get, we'll get a lovely little, um, thing right here. Perfect. Let's just, oh, it's just turned to nighttime as well. There we go. Everyone's gonna burn. <laughs> oh, this, this is one of the really nice things about 76 being a multiplayer game. You can just meet up with people online. And I didn't know any of these people before 76. Actually, I'm not sure who the two on the end are, to be fair. But look at that. There's a whole bunch of us. We killed a queen. Isn't that cool? Scavenger run is complete. Thank you all for watching. You're all lovely people. Feel free to join the Discord if you do want to end up like one of these people and feature in a future episode. Man, we're trying to get more people in for the photo, but look at this! Look at this! This is crazy! Everyone's lighting up. This cannot can this be everyone we know? Okay, I'm taking a I'm taking a photo of that. Just in case people start moving out of the way. Because I'm pretty sure at least a couple of them aren't fully aware of why everyone's taking a photo. But look at this! This is badass! Oh, I love it. Thank you, everyone. The scavenger run will return. For now, though, just keep being awesome. Sarge out.